What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we're back. More tech, more reviews. And right here in hand, I got two very brand new devices, two very different devices. Over here in my right hand, we got the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And over here in my left hand, we got the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. Both of these have very smart AI driven systems built into them. And today we are going to be seeing which one is the smartest. Now, disclaimer, Apple intelligence is not 100% up to par and Google's um, Gemini is still learning in itself. So we're gonna just go with what they know and see which one does the best. So let's check them out. All right, so first off, I got a notepad here with a series of six separate questions that I'm gonna ask each device. Now, you know that both of these devices can be activated via voice control. Um, this one, if you say a certain word or a certain phrase, and this one over here, if you say a certain phrase, they're going to activate the smart AI in the devices. So with that being said, I have a lot of devices around here and all these smart devices will probably want to answer if I say those phrases. So um, they do work 100%, but I am gonna be activating this stuff by hand when we do this testing. So just understand they will work voice activated. Now, first question, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. And first question I'm going to ask, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this one. Okay. so. First question I'm gonna ask is a math problem. So here we go. Give me the answer to eight times two plus three to the 10th power. It's 59,065. One exponent, three to the 10th power, three to the power of 10 equals five, nine, oh, four, nine, two multiplication, eight times two equals 16, three addition. 16 plus 59,049 equals 59,065. Answer, 59,065. Okay, there we go. So we got a little bit more in depth over here with um, Gemini. So it breaks everything down for you and then it gives you the answer while over here, you just get the answer. So either way, you get the answer, but this one, it wins in that category, I would say. So what I'm gonna do first is walk over here and we're gonna grab a pen and we'll just write down which one wins in what category. So we will say that uh, the pixel wins in the first category. All right, now my favorite category, here we go. Tell me a dad joke. What's a dad's favorite? Why don't scientists trust Adam's quiet? Because they make up everything. Okay, they both came up with the answer pretty fast and they gave us what we asked for. Now, from this point on, the comparisons are going to be made like one-on-one. -on -one. So I'll just open one up and then I'll talk to it and then talk to the other as well. Now, um, here we go. I like this one a lot. So in that category, I'm gonna say it's a draw. All right, so here we go. Write me a short story. I need to use ChatGPT to write that. Should I go ahead? Yes. Here's an answer from ChatGPT. All right, there we go. So we did get a short story, wrote it, and you can copy this and send it to your device and save it and do all those things. So that is an awesome, awesome uh, feature that we have there. Now let's go over here. Write me a short story. The old woman sat on the park bench watching the children play, a small boy. Okay, so I will say the Pixel and Gemini did that a lot better, a lot easier, a lot smoother. Um, Pixel. <laughs> Pixel wins that one. Pixel wins that round. Gemini wins that round, hands down. All right, so for our next question, here we go. How many days are in 52 years? 
It's 18,992.61 days. All right. How many days are in 52 years? 365 days in a leap okay so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and give that one a pixel the amount of explanation that it gives us i mean even going into normal years leap year leap year with 52 years like it literally breaks all this down and then it gives you the approximate amount of days that 100 percent gemini wins that all right now here we go down to the fun part. So we're gonna create an image this time. So let's uh, see what I wrote right here. It says, create an image of a flaming sword. Here are some images of flaming sword from the web. Can you make that sword have a lightning effect? Here's what I found. Okay, so. Two part question. I wanted it to kind of elaborate on that picture. Let's see what Gemini does. Create a picture of a flaming sword. And it's taking a little longer to give me the picture. So Apple wins in actually creating that picture. Sure, here is a picture of a flaming sword. So Apple won in creating, but let's see the continuation of the question. Can you give that sword a lightning effect? Here you go. Okay, so it did not give it a lightning effect. It's still flaming. Let's just ask it one more question to see if it can expand on this picture. Can you give that sword to a knight riding a dragon? So this is taking a little while. It's working, it's, it's doing its thing. Absolutely. Okay, so I do see the lightning effect. <laughs> you can kind of see the lightning from it. It's a flaming lightning type deal. Um, one, more, one more continuation because we've continued this picture like one, two times. Let's see. Can you make the sword blue? So it's, it's working, it's taking on the task. Let's see, let's see what happens. Sure. Okay, that's nice. So it did a continuation of the picture and it actually did one, two, and three continuations. Now, second picture wasn't exactly what I asked for. There is a little lightning element to it. I can see that now that I'm really looking at it. Um, but this one was awesome and this one was even better. So big shout out. Um, the continuation, like it got it with speed over here, but the continuation over here. Speed for Apple. Continuation goes to Pixel. All right, so last question that we're gonna ask in this series. Now, we're gonna be going on with this so if you guys can think of anything else you want to know about this setup in particular like we're going to also do some documents and things like that i just wanted to come in here and get a brief overview of what we got going on but the last question is about meal prep so here we go make me a meal prep menu for one week i need to use chat gpt to write that should i go ahead sure So if you didn't Here's know, an answer from chat GPT. Okay, great. So if you didn't know chat GPT is what is going to be driving Apple AI. 
Can you take this list and give me ingredients for a shopping list? Here's an answer from ChatGPT. Okay, so I like that. I like that a lot. It gives me a shopping list of everything I would need. Once again, we can copy this, we can put it in our notes and we can get busy, get to work. Great, excellent. That worked really well. Now let's go over here and what we're gonna do is ask the exact same question. Can you make me a meal prep menu for one week? Absolutely. Here's a sample meal prep menu for one week, focusing on simple, healthy, and budget-friendly options. Week one, meal prep plan, Sunday. Okay, stop. <laughs> I, am, I am way more pleased with the response I get over here. It sounds more personal, more friendly, more engaging. Now, let's go on a little bit further. Can you actually make me an ingredient list for shopping? I need more information to create a personalized list. Here are a few options. One. Okay, maybe I didn't ask it right. So it, it may not be a good continuation. Maybe I didn't ask the question right. Let's try one more time. Can you make me a meal prep menu for one week? Week one, meal prep plan. Take this meal prep plan and give me a list of shopping ingredients. Here's a grocery list for the meal prep plan. Pantry okay. staples, olive oil. Okay, I asked the question the wrong way the first time. So it gave me a whole list of everything I would need to go shopping with. Can you tell me the best grocery store to get all these things from? It's tough to say definitively which store is best because it depends on your priorities. Price, select. Okay, that's enough. It gives you a lot of different things, all the way down from value and variety, quality and selection, uh, organics and specialty items, and even other factors like your location, store layout, and customer service. So, hands down, I'm giving this one to Gemini. It's got to be. All right, so Apple really only won in one category. And then there's, there's one more category that, you know, we really like to depict because uh, Jim and I can actually carry on a full conversation with you and Siri really can't as of yet. So let's actually see how this works. Now, if you tap on this button over here, it opens up a live conversation with Jim and I. Uh, can you help me write a short story involving a dog, a cat, and a bike? Absolutely. A classic trio, the dog, the cat, and the bike, that opens up a lot of possibilities. Do you have any particular style in mind, like funny, adventurous, or maybe even a little spooky? So I'm looking for something that's mainly funny. Let's do funny. All right, funny it is. Here's a short story idea. Rusty, the scruffy dog, was convinced he was a top-notch bike handler. He'd spend hours chasing after the kids' trikes, barking and nipping at the tires. His owners, Sarah and Tom, always had to keep Okay, hold on, hold on, him, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Um, can you introduce the cat first and then the dog? All right, here's a revised version. First, there was Mittens, a sleek and sophisticated black cat. He can... Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and then it actually, once you close it out, it gives you the actual story itself. So if I had to let it keep going, it would keep going. And if you want it to- All right, here's a revised version. Read it First, back. First, there was mittens. A so this is awesome. Um, Apple intelligence can't do this yet. So this is a big game changer. Gemini is probably one of my favorite AI, other than some things in chat GPT. Like uh, there are a few things in chat GPT that are awesome. But as far as my everyday needs, Gemini is hands down probably one of my best AI companions. Now, I will say that you're gonna have to pay for all this stuff separately in about a year or so. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. It's all free up front. They get you hooked and then they want you to keep using it. Same thing with Apple AI. I'm pretty sure at some point there's gonna be an extra price tag added onto it. 
But for right now, all this stuff is gonna be free with your devices. Remember, Apple AI is gonna only work with your Apple iPhone 15 um, and your 16 devices. And all of my Samsung devices as of right now have Gemini for my S24 Ultra, my Fold 6, um, my S8 Plus, my tablet S8 Plus, all those things already have Gemini available. So it's a great thing to have when used in the right way. And I can see this doing a lot. So if you got questions, just let me know. I'm gonna be coming up with more things as I get to them. We gotta talk about pictures and, and taking pictures of flowers and things like that and identifying different animals and stuff. So we gotta do that. But for now, this has been a first kind of like head to head test of Gemini versus Apple AI. Gemini wins, hands down. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out and until next time, Average Tech Guy out, peace.